Oh, yeah. Chicana has the time. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, General Milley, I want to thank you for your distinguished service to our country. And I appreciate uh, both you and Secretary Austin sticking around till 3 p.m., uh, commitment to the democratic process. I would argue that the United States Department of Defense has been the most innovative institution probably in humanity over the last 50 years. When you look at what has come out of the Department of Defense, obviously things that have helped my district, the internet, the mouse, GPS, radar, stealth technology. I often joke with the entrepreneurs, I, I said, yeah, you commercialized it, but the Department of Defense invented it. And this has been the history of DARPA and other institutions. I want to make sure that we stay the most innovative Department of Defense. And to that point, Secretary Austin, I commend you for starting the Strategic Capabilities Fund, uh, which is going to be investing in cutting edge technology that could be disruptive. I guess I am puzzled, and, and maybe you can help uh, and generally give us some guidance on how we solve this issue of getting funding to the Strategic Capabilities Fund and how we get more of the funding uh, put into the purchase of advanced technology, not just the funding of the companies, but actually the acquisition. Because we've got you know, almost a trillion dollars worth we're heading in the defense budget. Here we're talking about a few billion dollars, and yet it seems hard to get that funding. And the challenge with China and others, as you know, is asymmetrical. They're not going to compete with us conventionally. So it seems to me very prudent that we take asymmetrical bets. And I just love with, uh, I have one question, and my question is just how do we get more of the acquisition into emerging technologies uh, in asymmetrical approaches, and what can Congress do to help? And I love both Secretary Austin and General Milley's comments on it. Well, we, we uh, certainly worked hard to stand up this, this office because we, we think it's uh, important to incentivize uh, investors to, to help uh, uh, create the technology that we need. Uh, we've accounted for uh, uh, some of this in our budget. Uh, we're partnering with uh, uh, Small Business uh, Bureau to, to make sure that uh, we, we're pulling every lever. Uh, we have initiatives such as Raider, which is, uh, uh, incentivizes uh, uh, small businesses to uh, come forward with the technology that we've uh, said that we need to help the warfighters so that we can create relevant capability for the warfighters now. And, uh, and so that has created things like, uh, you know, you've heard us talk about switchblade that's been, uh, been relevant for the Ukrainians in, uh, in this fight uh, over the last year. We're able to get that to the, uh, to the warfighters in, uh, in really uh, record time because of the initiatives like that. So, so we'll stay after this, but, uh, but I agree with you. This is really, really important that we try to do everything we can to speed technology uh, being introduced uh, at scale where appropriate to, uh, to support our war fighters. General Malik? Same, same thing. I think the importance of it is critical. Um, as I've mentioned several times today, uh, this change in the character of war uh, is on us, uh, and we are seeing the, uh, the, the very rapid advance of, uh, of uh, a whole series of technologies that are going to fundamentally change how militaries fight. Uh, and it's not going to look like it did before. So. Uh, the faster uh, we get after this and the, and, and the better we integrate these uh, technologies into our uh, military, uh, the better off we're going to be against a China or a Russia or anybody else for that matter. Uh, so I think speed and sense of urgency is critical, and we need all the help we can get from Congress for that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Will, will the gentleman yield?